hi and welcome to my youtube channel for today's class we'll be making a detailed tutorial on how to cut and sew a bumper jacket so if it's your first time viewing my channel please like share and subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always watching my video so the first thing i'm needing is my material my material so this is my ankara i'm using a black lining and also this is a crepe fabric you need a stretchy fabric for the down part so afterwards i'm just going to cut out the amount i'm going to be using as you can see this is b so i'm just going to go down to the draft so let's start with my lining then i'll be transferring my measurement to my fabric because the fabric i have is the chalk won't be showing on it if i'm drafting so the first thing you're going to do is to get the length of what you're working with so the length i'm working with is 21 and you're going to minus two inches that two inches will be serving as the band area so here i have it so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my shoulder so the shoulder i'm working with is 13 13 divided by 2 i have 6.5 so i'm attaching sleeve and i'm going to add half making it 7 so after marking the 7 i'll go ahead and mark the shoulder to bust so my, i'm actually making this for a boy so after marking my shoulder to bust i'm going to go down to shoulder to navel and i'll mark so I'm going to be making it straight because a bomber, a bomber jacket is free. So it doesn't really require any shape. So you can just use the largest measurement, maybe your bust or your navel, and then add your allowance. So the chest, the biggest measurement I have here is the chest, which is 30 divided by 4. I have 7.5. So I'll go ahead and mark 7.5. So from that 7.5, I'm adding 3 inches allowance. After adding my 3 inches allowance, I'm going to mark 1 inch for sewing allowance, for stitching allowance. So I'm going to be sewing out that one. So I'll go over here and I'll do the same thing. Or I'll make, please and measure what I have here. So I have 11.2. I'll go ahead and mark. 11.2 here sorry for the double lines so i'll go ahead and also mark that 11.2 here so i'm just going to go ahead and connect the lines after connecting the line this is the bust and this is the waist so after connecting the line, I'm going to go ahead and get the chest line. So to get your chest line, you do your bust divided by 6. Plus 1.5 inches. So I have 5 inches. So I'm going to make a straight line and connect it down. So after marking it down, I'm going to go ahead and we got shoulder divided by 2 plus half, we got 7 inches. So I'm going to mark that 7 inches here and I'm going to extend it to this place. After extending it, I'm going to go ahead and find the middle of my to to find the middle of draw my shoulder slant sorry i'll mark one inch draw my shoulder slant but before i draw my shoulder slant i'm going to mark mark out my neckline so i'm using three and i'm using two inches so this is the back part you have to draft the back part before drafting the front so i'll go ahead and i'm going to connect after doing that i'll go ahead and join my shoulder slant so i'll mark up half up here 
So I'll be using that as my joining allowance for the neck. So I'm going to place and connect back. So that will be serving as my joining allowance for my neck. So after that, I'm going to measure what I have here. So I have 4.5. I'm just going to blend it out. So this is what I have. Then I'm going to place back and mark. So I'm going to connect it. Measure half from here. Then I'm going to mark. From here, I'll extend this line. And then I'll extend it here. So coming, coming over to this, this is a bomber jacket. So most times I prefer my bomber jacket, the armhole lower. So I can go down by half so that it will be free. So I'm going to extend it back to this point. So with this, I'm just going to cut out this part and place it for my front pattern and add two inches for zip her allowance. So here I have it, I've placed these two, this part will be the front pattern and I have added two inches zipper allowance to it. So the next thing I'm going to do, there's not more, much work, I'm just going to go down from here and this is my neck area. So the reason why I'm doing that is to, because it's my front and my front is going to be a bit lower than my back. So I'm going to make sure I have three inches. So sorry. So this is better, rather. So from there, I'm just going to trace out my neck. And then I'm going to connect. So this is my neck for the back. So after doing that, I'm just going to cut out. That's just all for it. And I'll place this on my fabric and I'm going to cut out and bring and show you. So I've gone ahead and placed my lining to my fabric and I've cut it out. So the next step is to, is to cut my sleeve. So that's where we're heading to right now. So for my sleeve, I'm just going to be cutting my sleeve. So you don't need any shaping of any type on your sleeve. So you don't need any shipping of any type on your skin. So I'm just going to measure the length. So the length I'm working with um, is 21 minus 2 because you're going to be attaching band to that part. So I'll be having 17. So I'm also going to place this on my fabric and I will cut out. So the next step I'm going to do is to unpin my patterns. After unpinning my pattern, what I'm going to go ahead is to join my fabric to fabric and join my lining to lining. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. See, I've gone ahead to join my fabric so i joined with half at the shoulder half at the armhole and i shaped with it one inch so i also did that for my lining and i'm going to tuck it in next is i'm going to be creating my pockets so from here i'm going to be measuring eight inches and i'm going to mark so from that eight inches i marked i'm going to mark six inches going up or 6.5 from this 6.5 i'm going to go in by four inches and connect so i'm going to come up here by 4.5 or four inches so then i'll extend that point so forming my pocket then i'm also going to go ahead and cut so after cutting it out this is what i have so i added half here because i'll be top stitching on this part so after doing that i'm going to this is the piece i cut out so i'm just going to use it and sew 
and then flip it open to conceal the mouth of this to conceal it so i'm just going to go ahead and place it to the sewing machine and i'm going to fold here top stitch and i'm going to also top stitch here and then bring it bring it back and just sew on this i show you so here i have my bombers again so i've gone ahead and i've attached the pockets so i didn't sew down here i'll be sewing it down when i'm joining it with the band so the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and measure around your jacket so i've already measured it round so what i have is 46.8 so that 46.8 so we'll be inserting an ankara at this part of of this of of this bomber jacket so i'm going to be taking four inches on both sides so that's eight so will be minus 46.8 minus 8 inches so if you minus 46.8 minus 8 inches you're going to be having 38.8 inches so from that 38.8 inches that will be the part we'll be putting our band so at that band side you want to have this very stretchy effect so i'll also be removing four inches from that band side also so that's 8.8 minus 4 you'll be having 34.8 so the reason we are minusing four inches is to create that very stretchy that stretchy look at the back so i'll go ahead and cut out my, this is my lining so i'll place the front side of my fabric this is the band i cut so i removed two inches i found out that i wasn't having that very stretchy look so i removed two inches from it so what i will do now the front side of the lining facing the front side of the fabric so this band is five inches so folding it into two i have 0.5 so i'm going to go ahead place it this way then i'll place this and I'm going to place this and I'm going to sew the tap. So I'll go ahead and join also this part. For this part inside, and I'm going to sew the tap. So for this fabric side, I'm going to stretch it out and sew. So I'll join it and bring it for you to see. So I've gone ahead and I sewed this place. So I'm just going to bring it out. So this is what I have. So I'm just going to pop it in. So this is what my inside looks like. It's very neat. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create a band for my neck. So I'm going to mark out two inches. That two inches I marked for my zipper. So on both sides, I'm going to mark it. And I've marked it. I knocked I notched that place. So from there I'm just going to measure round my neck. So I'm going to stop there. So I have 18.3. So I'm going to be cutting band 18, the length 18.3 and the width is 4 inches. So I've cut out the band for the neck. This is it, 18 by 4 inches. So what I'm going to do, I'll place it together and I'm just going to make a small curve to the end. I'm going to cut it out. So this is it. I'm going to be starting it at the neck of this. I'm going to place it in this way from this part and then place my lining also and I'm going to sew it round.
So here you have it. I'm done sewing it and I'm just going to turn it out to show you what I have. So at the end of the day, you're supposed to be having a very neat finishing just like mine. I also go ahead and tuck in my lining to my fabric. So here you have it. This is our bumper jacket. So I'm almost done. The next thing I'm going to do is to be inserting the band for the sleeve and also attaching the zipper to the front part so i'll go ahead and measure the ending or the hem of my sleeve so whatever i get i'm going to be minusing two to three inches for to give my sleeve that that stretchy effect at the end so whatever you have at your sleeve you're going to be minusing three inches make sure you measure your sleeve round also the width of my sleeve is nine the width is five so i'm just going to fold it into two so and then i'm going to turn it and fold it and attach to the sleeve so that at the end i'm going to be having a very smooth finishing so i've gone ahead and i attached the band to the bumper jacket so this is what i have next i'm going to go ahead and mark out that two inches i added for zipper allowance and i'm just going to place my zip on, on it and i'm going to sew i've gone ahead and i've attached my zipper to the bumper jacket so this is what i have so i'll go ahead and also weave the inside of that zipper allowance to give it a good and neat finishing and here you have it this is the final look of the bumper jacket please if you find this video very educative and interesting don't forget to give my video a thumbs up please like share and subscribe and also turn on the notification button to get new updates from my channel